I'm sure it's nothing you don't like Hey boys, what's going on? It's your boy Klazo here today, guys. And today, I'm going to be bringing you a laddering video. It's the first day of the season, um, as you guys see here in my rank history. I made it to S rank again last season. Uh, so we're going to try to hit S rank again this season. We're rank 11 right now. Uh, so I think we're going to play some serious decks and uh, see how it works out for us. The deck that I'm uh, I'm probably going to play here is either Abyss Arcanist or Vaynar Arcanist. I really like both of them. Um... Let's go Abyss Arcanist. I really like this deck. Really like this deck. Do I really want to play it though? I don't know. I'm, it's either between these two and... Yeah, you know what? Let's just go Abyss Arcanist. Yeah. So this deck is really fun. It works out pretty well. Um, right now, is Karis pretty good. Karis pretty good. So we're playing our problem. Hopefully he's not a problem for us. Uh, we'll drop one Void Pulse, one Prismac Illusionist. Alright, this isn't a bad hand. This isn't a bad hand. We go Healing Mystic into Sphere of Darkness uh, next turn on something. Or we can go... And yeah, we have we have options. We have options. We have options. Let's drop this... Uh, you know, the Lightbender might become uh, useful. So yeah, this deck is pretty fun. It's all about dropping uh, pretty cheap spells. And then, uh, you know, using them to your advantage along with uh, all your other... Um, Arcanist cards like Albi Sage and uh, Prismatic Illusionist like in our hand. So you're going to generate a lot of a lot of minions on board, a lot of minion health with Albi Sage. So it's a pretty fun deck, and we'll see how it works out. So this is actually pretty strong for us that he just played Kindred Hunter. One that's one Kindred Hunter down, and that's a really hard card to deal with. We're going to drop the Death Null. Um, we don't need that already. So this is our play, right? We're going to move up. We're going to take four mana. We're going to play this Prismatic Illusionist back here. Hopefully, no, we're going to play it down here. Hopefully he won't have an answer for it. And then we're going to play Sphere of Darkness on the Kidron Hunter. That way when I hit it right here, it will die. And we generate a 2-1, which is nice. Now we have board control. We have three minions on board. I have center of the board. The only place he can go is to the Mana Spring down here, which I'm fighting for it with the Prismatic Illusionist. If he decides to back off, we can take it next turn. We'll see what he opts to do. He's got four cards in hand, so we could see an Albi Sage this turn. We could see an Albi Sage onto the Mana Spring. Nope, nope. It looks like he's heading up top. Um, if he decides to hit the Healing Mystic, he could Mana Death Grip it and then uh, be up a Mana on us. Hailstone Prison. All right, that's not that bad. I'd rather him do that than destroy it. At least that gives me the option to play it again, if so be it. And there is the death grip. All right, yeah, that that uh, I had a feeling that's what we were gonna see. Into a flash freeze. All right, so he does opt to clear the board. He does opt to clear the board. So be it. Um, we can deal with it. We've dealt with first in the past. Then we're gonna drop this void pulse. Hmm. I could I could go down. I could develop the prismatic illusionist and the ooze, which is probably what I'm going to do here. I like that play a lot. Um, we'll go Ooze here into Illusionist down here. That way the Ooze is kind of still up more so he can fight some stuff up here if he decides to play stuff up here. It allows me to play my uh, Illusionist back farther. This keeps our board pretty, pretty nice uh, on top of him. Mana Forger, okay, that's fine. Frost Burn, yep. Okay. That's a little annoying, but he already had to waste one one sort of AoE. He's down to one card in hand. So, uh, to be honest, I mean, he could have done worse. He could have done worse. Our hand's pretty good. Pretty good. I really don't want to drop the Trinity Wing. Uh, Lightbender is good if he drops uh, Gravity Wells on us or anything like that. Albi Sage is fantastic. Why are you going to drop this Mana Forger? So how about we go Illusionist? Just because I don't want him to develop any sort of board. I'm just going to I'm just going to whip this now because I really don't want him to develop any sort of board. Doesn't matter where I put it. 
We get a 2-1 out of it, which is nice. We get rid of his Mana Forger, so he can't accelerate any spells. Pretty good. That's an okay board. Now he's down to two cards in hand. Aether Master is good for us. I mean, he's able to replace more now, but it's not that big of a threat. Albi Sage, that's a threat. Now, the goal this turn is to play the Lightbender. I really would like to hit the Lightbender right here if possible, but I don't think it's possible. Um, actually, it is now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to Lightbender my own Mana Forger, but I think it's worth it. Any other possible plays I could do. I could play the Trinity Wing, but I don't think it'd be worth it here or in the Albi Sage. Same thing. I think what we want to do is just keep, keep him down and just play some Dispels. That way he can't really develop that much of anything. I like that there. Our Mana Forger got dispelled, but that's fine. Now he can't replace uh, twice a turn. He has a useless Albi Sage. I'm okay with that. He's got one card in hand. I don't know what it's going to be. I hope it's not walls. I hope it's not walls, because if it did, I just used my, my one dispel on it. Blue Conjurer, uh, another, another way for him to, uh, you know, refill his hand. Nardboard is not looking good now. Not at all. I go... Whip, ear, six, seven, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can kill it off, but it's gonna take absolutely everything I have. I don't like that. That way I can kill that off, it stays up. I develop some two ones. So I'm gonna try to I'm just gonna try to beat him out before he can beat me out. Um our board's looking pretty, pretty nice right now. We moved his threat into a corner. Hopefully he doesn't have any spells. If he does, he's gonna be getting another uh, Arcanist in hand. Alright, and he decides to surrender. Well played. Basically, I was just keeping his board under control. Uh, with this deck, you can you can keep it under control like that, which is really nice. We got one win. Let's try to get uh, like probably one or two more and see how it goes. Uh, do we want to keep playing Abyss Arcanist or I want to play Vaynar Arcanist? I could play a Sarlacc deck, but we probably won't rank very well with it. I also have a Vitruvian deck that's very fast. Um... Let's keep playing Abyss Arcanist and see how we do. Let's see how we do. Hopefully we keep doing good. I really would like to get back to S rank again this season. Now that I've been there three seasons in a row. It's really nice being there. You can test out a lot of decks against... Almost every match you play is going to be against some sort of good player. Most of them are tournament players. So it's nice testing like different types of decks and what's going to work in the meta and what's not going to work. It looks like we're playing Nick off, or Nick of. I don't. I don't really know his name. Ooh, this hand is not good for us. Uh, we're gonna drop the Blue Conjurer because it's it's useless to me. Grasp can be good. Um, I think Void Pulse isn't very useful right now, so we'll drop that. Beckrev is not what I wanted to see. Prismac Illusionist, I can deal with. All right, yeah. Uh, not not such a good hand for us. Um, not having a turn one play against Vitruvian, one of the fastest, um, you know, playing decks in the game kind of sucks. I'm kind of hoping he plays a Obelisk. If he plays an Obelisk, I can whip it. If he doesn't have a turn one play, then, then we're going to be looking good. Got a Pax into a... Da -na 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 -na. Pax. <laughs> 
I don't have an opening and he opens up with double packs. Great. I play this here. This Bax is gonna hit it. He's gonna kill it off. So yeah, this isn't a good start for us. Um, double packs is, is a hard opening to deal with. I'm sorry for my lighting. I just noticed how bad it looks. Uh, it's kinda late at night here, so I don't have that great natural lighting. That's an unfortunate start, but I, I did hang on to the grasp, so hopefully I can grasp something and kill something off. Grasp probably this one. Depends on what he plays. If he, if he plays something there and I grasp here, kill off that, that, three damage here, and hopefully kill this off with, with whatever he plays. Leaving only this 2-2 two -two back here. Double packs is a rough opening for us, definitely since we didn't start up with anything, so. Void Pulse, I'm, I might I, I might drop Void Pulse. Uh, Punish is good, or in case he plays any Obelisk. Um, or we can Demonic Lure it into a corner. And of course he plays it back there. Oh man, the swarm is real. I just, I can't. Can't. Can't do anything against this board, man. Need to whip this away. If I go, if I, if I grasp here, whip here, Go off bang, bang, bang. Can't grass whip and punish. I should have actually played that on here. I, I messed up there. I messed up there. But my illusionist is surrounded, so there's that. Down to three cards in hand, I dealt with what I could. I killed all one, two, I killed all three of the dervishes, did three damage to his general. Um, hopefully he can just run out of steam here and we can reclaim our th uh, glory at the top. I really hate my lighting. Looks awful. Come on, nothing big. No scarabs. No scarabs. If it's scarab, I'm gonna have to save the punish and ping and punish it at some point. <laughs> Bone swarm. <laughs> oh god. What a card. What a card. I was not expecting that. Now that's gonna put me behind. That's gonna put me behind. To a fire blaze. Fantastic. How do I deal with this? How do I deal with this? This is not good for us, man. He, he has a very aggressive opening, and we have not had a very aggressive opening. Fear of Darkness here, trade there. I 
I could play the blue conjurer down here, but then I'd put it in harm's way. How about we move back? And a sphere here. Grasp is pretty good. Grasp, grasp is nice here. Play Mana Forger. I'm using Grasp just to deal some a little bit more damage to his general as well, which is nice. We'll keep our hand since everything refills our hand. We're kind of away from the Fire Blaze. Um, ooh, actually with the Dispel now I could Dispel it. But um, Dispel is probably going to be better against a uh, Amara Healer. Which is probably what he's going to, going to drop, I would assume. Got seven mana. We can see a Grandmaster. If he plays Grandmaster, we're going to have to ping and punish it. Oh, well, he can't. Be, he's only at six mana right now, so he can't play Grandmaster. Play it somewhere. Come on. Come on. Play it out. You're running out of cards in hand. I have the Dispel for Mar Healer, and I have a Punish. I have two ways to deal with two threats. Uh, I'm not. I'm not very worried about that. If he plays another Obelisk, it's, it can be a really good Dispel for us, to be honest. If I Dispel, I can't play my Trinity Wing or my Blue Conjurer, though. Come on. Spelljammer. Alrighty. Jesus. Only took him 20 minutes to figure out what he wanted to play. So, if I play Trinity Wing... If I play Trinity Wing, I get the plus... The, the two damage one. What do I do here? I can just punish that. I could have taken two damage there. I misplayed that. I misplayed that. I played that turn wrong. I need to play my Trinity Wing because I really need the healing at this point. Um, I played the Dispel and I played the um, the Punish and I probably should have saved the Punish. Should have saved the Punish. Because now if he plays a Grandmaster, if he plays the Mara Healer, I don't have an answer. These guys had a, a, a lot better early game than I did. My early game was non-existent. Facing Vitruvian it is very difficult with this deck. Alright, he's just going all in at this point. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to win this one. I'm, just, I'm surrounded by too much. Surrounded by too much with no answers. Yep, that's game. Yeah, okay, we lost. I 
I had no early game, no answers at the end. There was just too many obelisks. Can't can't deal with that much. I, I misplayed that turn and it cost me. Another Abyssian or another Vitruvian. Okay. I guess a Vitruvian's the flavor of the month at the moment. I like Mana Forger. Uh, we'll drop Healing Mystic. I'm not in that much of a hurry to ramp. We can play Ooze to begin with and call it a turn. It's not bad. <laughs> Yo, what's with these people and getting the best openings? Um, that's a little annoying. I don't even need to play Sphere of Darkness. That's all I need to play. I say the Sphere of Darkness. I could have... Yeah, because now that hits that. I could have actually played that back here. Because now I just gave up my Mana Forger, basically. Also, if I if I play the Sphere of Darkness, I, didn't, I wouldn't have gave him a 2-2 this turn. Miss, please. All right, Falcius isn't bad. One thing after another. Do a blood tier alchemist, perfect. Alright, I gotta somehow clear with this board, man. I keep playing these Vitruvian players that just have this dominant early game that my deck doesn't compare. This is the one matchup that this deck is pretty bad against, is Vitruvian. Vitruvian's really difficult for this deck to deal with. I'm going to try to develop a board with this Pragmatic Illusionist. I hope he doesn't have the answer to it. Lightbender lets us deal with the Mara Healer or Grandmaster if he plays it close enough. This is looking pretty good. This doesn't this doesn't look pretty bad right now. Unless he... If he has, like, Blood of Air, I think the card's called. The 5-mana removal. That would suck. And there it is. Okay. That sucks, but so be it. We're down on health already, which is not fun. We're gonna heal up, drop this Fear of Darkness here. Trinity Wing. We don't need two Trinity Wings because right now we don't have we don't have uh, any Arcanist. Like, we're getting all these high Arcanists right now. We really need a Mana Forger, and I think I replaced one, but if we could draw into one, that'd be really good. Allomancer is okay. Alright. That's going to be a nice Light Bender. That's going to be a really nice Light Bender for us. Um, we'll keep, we'll keep that. Uh, 
Um, we'll do that. We have BBS, but I don't really have a use for it at the moment, so we're just gonna like, hang on to it. We're just gonna hang on to it. Now we're just gonna slow him down just a tad bit, just because of that light bender. It allows us just to get a little bit more board control. I don't have to worry about this Allomancer, you know, getting a, getting another Obelisk. Another, okay, Primus Fist. I feel like I'm playing the same deck I literally just played. <sighs> okay, cool. That's fine. I don't know why he didn't just go all face. I would have. This is not good, man. I keep getting surrounded and it's working against me very, very well. I can't play the Trinity Wing because I can't develop a board. Or I can't get anything developed. I need to go down this way. I need to go down here. If I, I I need to I need to do this and then play the blue conjurer. I have to play the blue conjurer. I don't have a choice. Blue Conjurer has a big body, so hopefully he can eat a few hits. Uh, he only has one card in hand, so I just hope to god it's not removal. Please don't be Blood of Air. I need to play- I- I, I need uh, some- some Void Pulses, I need some- I need my- I need this to live a- just one round so I can play my Trinity Wing. If next turn I can- next turn I could go, uh, Mana Forger into Trinity Wing and get the health. Please don't be a Mari healer. No, oh, Primus Fist. Alrighty. Well, he just keeps surrounding me, which is not fun for me. King Punish. I go Mana Forger, Trinity Wing. That's seven. Ping is eight. Oh, it blocked the way. That's exactly where I wanted it to go. Woo! Alright, I found a way out of there. Void Pulse is great. That's exactly what I need to see. I need some life. If, if I would have did that any other way, I, I was trying to look at a way where I can get around everything. He gets a Star's Fury. Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, Vitruvian is kicking my ass tonight. Um, Prismatic Illusionist looks like it backfired on us here. Just a tad bit. I mean, for some reason, he he's, if he decided to go face more this game, he would have won already. But he's decided to clear a lot of my board. And now, now we're in a good situation. Now we're in a really good situation. I'm pretty sure I can ping, ping Death Null. And, and that spawn behind him, it doesn't even spawn aggressively. Oh yeah. Please do not give him another Star's Fury. Oh, I can Void Pulse for free, that's right. 
Mana Forger. I forgot I played that this game. Alright. Alright, let's see if I can get out of this. Let's see if I can get out of this. He's got one card in hand. Hopefully it's not the answer. The Bone Swarm. But he still can't win. Well played. Jimmy Hendrick. Well, we didn't make it very far. Anyways, guys, so yeah, this was just a ladder room closet video. I think I'm going to cut it there. Um, played two vet players, and I forgot the first player we played. I think it was Kara, but I, I believe we won. Like I said, normally deck plays pretty well. Uh, normally, when we play fast-paced decks like that, it's just harder to get your Arcanist out more. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment down below. You know, tell me all the misplays. I'm sure you'll find them. And as always, I'm your boy Clazo. Hope you guys keep on dueling, and I will see you guys next time.